Hello everybody, good buddy Q here with Dignify. And last we left off, uh, this happened. Alright, go for it. Let's open on camera. Dang! Uh, uh, I, I can't bend over in this flannel shirt! Uh, which, to be fair, with all the process it went through, I don't blame it. Oh yeah, this thing has probably been shaken up to high heaven and back. Okay, I'm gonna smell it. Oh god! Oh, I'm scared now. Smell. Oh no, that's it's... that's not how soda's supposed to smell. It it smells like a cream stew, like if the if it was warmer, and I knew it was being made, it would be smelling delicious. Don't get me wrong, but as a cold soda. <clears throat> I'll do it. I you're, I will be you're, brave. You're gonna go first. I will be brave. Be brave, honey. Be brave for all of us. Oh God! And now it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to make you suffer through this alone. Just a little tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Find my center. <laughs> Find it. Ugh, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have inhaled as I put it to my mouth. Okay. It goes the vent. Mm. Oh, honey! I kept it in my mouth too long, and I, so no! I started having a freak out. Honey, no! Let's quickly get a... Oh, we can use this other snack. Yeah. Quick! Save us, yeah. intense reindeer! Save us! <laughs> Ow. Mm. Yeah, basically just imagine carbonated, extremely watered down cream stew. It smells exactly as it tastes. Yeah. It's like if that were actually a cream stew, it'd be nice. Yeah. If watered down. But no, it's a carbonated beverage, so it's not right. Not right at all. No. Mm -mm. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, how about you choose one? Okay. Um. This looks fun. Ooh. Strawberry ones. Ow. I like Showcasing. strawberry. I like strawberry too. Radical. Roll ups. Strawberry roll candy. Haha. -ha. Japan's answer to the popular American snack fruit roll-ups. Yay! In this month's box, we've added these yummy strawberry roll candy. This candy rolls is 50 centimeters in length, so there's plenty to go around. Okay, so it's like fruit by the foot. Oh, my hands smell like it now. My pants do too, probably, because it's spilled oh, all over me. Yeah. Good thing I needed to wash this robe anyway. I gotta change before my appointment. It's okay, honey. Like... Probably not as bad as you think. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly fruit by the yep, foot that's technology. Fruit by the foot. Like it's a lighter it's pink color. Smells nice though. Give oh yeah, me. I imagine this is gonna be super nice. Give me. It's really thin. Um, I'm going back in time. Mmm. Mmm. Like is it's that... very stickier though. Oh yeah, that's extremely sticky. Like, is that is like the way you just mm. ate this? Is that how you would typically eat fruit by the foot yeah. as a kid? Like, I w I was weird. Did you ever know anyone who would like either tear off bits by hand, or what I would like to do is roll it up into chunks and like so it was like a larger piece, so it's like a big gummy you put in your mouth. I never heard and of that. And sometimes I would even just like suck on it to make it last as long as possible. <laughs> My mom didn't have us have fruit by the foot very often, so I didn't have much of a chance to. Mm, mm. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, like, it's it has a slightly different texture than the American foot by the foot. I'm gonna do what you did. And the strawberry flavor, like, again, understandably, it's not, like, exactly what you would expect, what... I should say an American would expect for a strawberry flavored candy, but yeah, it's a really nice strawberry flavor. Oh yeah, ten out of ten. Okay, we've been avoiding these cubes for a while. Let's get to the cubes. Ooh, cube a. 
milk chocolate. Amazing. Huh, here we go. Hi, milk chocolate QB. A fairly new series by world renowned chocolate maker Meiji. These milk chocolates are made for people on the go. The specially designed package makes it easy to fold the bag and take it on the go so you no longer have to finish it all at once. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, nice. Um, oh, the chocolate themselves also have a special coating which makes them less prone to melting in your hands. Oh, is this gonna... Okay, so it's like, sort of M&M concept, you know, melt in your mouth, not in your hands. I'm yeah. guessing this is probably gonna be like when Hershey's tried to do something like that, like Hershey's drops. Yeah. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, they smell interesting. And again, like I like, I'm excited because I've never actually had Meiji chocolate. They 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 feel kind of like Tootsie Rolls. They do. Okay, this is gonna be interesting actually. Then. Uh -huh. ah! Nope, it's solid chocolate. It's solid chocolate. So yeah, the, the coating is more like a, it's not it's not a hard candy shell at all. It's just like this very bare. Yeah, I don't even really like, know what to call that. Yeah. Looks like on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Chocolate. It's like it's like a finishing glaze. Yeah, yeah. It's just. You don't even taste it. It's just like mm. this tiny glaze to keep it from melting in your hand, which that's really interesting. Mm-hmm. Ooh. But yeah, just some little chunks of nice milk chocolate. Which one do you want? This one or the mints? Let's let's do uh, the box first. Get this is something that we're not unfamiliar with because we're spoiled by an Asian market down the street. And we go to and we go to anime conventions. Yeah. Tomato pretz. The Italians and us are gonna have a good time. Yeah like I'm trying to think like you gave me that corn pretz once yeah. which wasn't a good time. And, uh, we had, like, that, uh, some- Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, there's a whole page about the cream stew ramen. We can read that later. Yeah, and the mocha cake. Yeah. Blech. But yes, anyways. So, anywho. Uh, right, right over there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Tomato pretz. Popular Japanese snack, Tomato Pretz, makes an appearance in your box this month because this packaging is Christmas colors and, well, they are just so darn good. Tomato Pretz has just the perfect crunch and savory flavor that makes for a super satisfying snack. Okay, this is interesting because I've never actually had the Tomato Pretz. I haven't really either. They're just savory, but- Ooh, got two bags. Open! Yeah, I've only had- the corn and that one from, uh, like, I forget which Ooh. Universal Yum's box it was that had a flavor of breads. Okay. Like, these could potentially be They smell now. actually really nice. Yeah. It tastes like pizza. Oh, yeah, this is- okay, I like this. I like this Like a pizza lot. Pringles. It's like that, only as a stick. Well, there actually is a pizza flavored pretz. Oh. Well, this one tastes like it. And people know me, I don't usually don't like, like, tomatoes. No, it's, it very much has, like, a lot of good accompanying spices, so it just tastes like... Marinara. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's, that's what this sort of has going on, is breadstick with a nice marinara sauce kind of atmosphere. I'm just chowing down. These are good! Mm. Reminds me of, uh, tomato and sun-dried basil wheat thins, which I really like. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I gotta put them away. Like, have some cheese on the side with Ooh. these, like a nice provolone or something. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm hmm. It's so good. Ah! Okay, yeah, this this is redeemed pretz for me. Yay! Okay, now let's go with this, um, whatever this is. No, oh, the... there it is. Uh, cola ramen candy. Ramen candies are popular snacks in Japan. Compared to normal candies, they have a slightly powdery texture. This time, we bring you the popular cola flavor ramen. Enjoy these super refreshing cola flavor ramen that will remind you of the actual drink. This is interesting because I always find Japanese cola flavor to be odd. Odd in the sense that, like, it usually has, like, a stronger lemon component. Oh, yeah, I can definitely smell it. Smell it. Yeah, like, like it smells like, um, lemon coke. Yeah, because, like, 
in the past when I used to like go to uh, the Sanrio store all the time and get gum from there. Like when I eventually tried the cola flavor stuff, like that was the first thing I noticed is, oh, this is a very lemony cola. Yeah, lemony. Like doesn't really touch much of cola, but more lemony. Definitely. Like, not that there are shades good. of cola in the background, but the forefront flavor, forefront flavor, is definitely more of a sweet, tangy lemon kind of thing going on. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Okay, what's next? Um, we got. Oh, oh that's one item. Were we gonna break this up? Or? Well, we don't really have much else yeah. left. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, let's see, we have these three left. Um, these look interesting. Okay. So, here, show them. sorry. Go show them off. Uh, well, I, ah, here they are. Byerly, Beerly's, I don't know. Byerly's Soft Candy. Byerly's is a franchise which initially became famous for their orange juice and have since expanded the flavor lineup. This time, they've released these soft candies that come in different flavors, including peach, orange, apple, and... Oh, I never know how to pronounce this. I've never heard it spoken. Mus muscat? Muscat, muscat, grape. White grape. Yeah. Uh, these soft candies promise to get juicier with each bite. Which flavor is your favorite? Well, let's find out. Ah. Sorry, I just noticed the, um, the brand. That's a fucking... That's a fucking beer company. Hmm. Or maybe they're just a beverage company, period. Oh yeah, that's possible. Dang. Hm. Ooh. Neat. Yeah, show them off. I just poured a random amount in my yeah. hand. But yeah, they look like these. They're kind of rolly. Like, they're hard. They're not, like, gummy, but... Well, like, that's probably a glaze. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see which, what did you, which one did you get. Oh, the... The grape one. Let's see. Um... Yeah, it's... Like go with happy issues. It's interesting. Ooh, they're really hard to bite into. Yeah, but like once mm. you start chewing, it really goes for it. I think I just had the either the apple or the peach one, but it's really good. No, like. I, actually, I don't like. I don't think so because I think I ate the only peach one in your hand. Mm. Now this is apple. It's really good. Nice. Orange. Oh. Yeah, it's just a like. Oh, it's a good orange. It's just a Ow. soft, chewy, like not gummy chewy, but more like taffy chewy ish. Yeah. Um, fruit candy, like mm. really enjoyable, very it's really sweet, nice, and yeah, like it does get your mouth watering. So it's a very juicy experience. And, um, it's resealable. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's good, because it is something that, like, the flavor is strong enough that you could definitely just, like, have a few and be Boop. like, yep, that was nice. Come on. Get in there. Boop. Boop. Two more. I say let's have the cookies for last. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Next is this guy again. How, oh. how, how? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Christmas edition, Christmas edition, corn pottage umaibo. In the in the spirit of Christmas, we decided to add two different flavors of Christmas edition umaibo. These umaibo come in cute Christmas design package and come in the corn pottage flavor that is super popular among umaibo fans in Japan. Corn pottage. What, what are you doing? Biting it open. Oh, okay. Because it looks like it shouldn't be that difficult. It's a rough package. Okay, let me see. Oh. Yeah, you, like, the, the, when it has the ridges on the top, you just kind of tear between two. Yeah, it smells like corn. Oh. Oh, boy. It reminds me of that one last Universal Gums we got of, like, the cheese oh, stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even hollow. Yeah, like, so it's that kind of snack technology. Yeah. Can I have a smell? Yes. Hmm, it's very, very faint. Uh, 
Very faint corn smell. Oh yeah, that's corn. Oh. No, I'm not looking forward to this. I never enjoy the corn flavored things. It's actually nice. Mm. Like, like at first it was like, eh, but the more it goes on, the more all the flavors kind of come together and it Oh, yeah, it's like, actually rather nice. Once you, like, really start chewing it and let all the flavors come out, it is actually very nice. Second bite. Oh, let me show on the inside. Yep. Yeah, like, oh. while it's just still, like, a, like, powdery puff tube sitting in your mouth and you're just like, oh, corn, like, corn flavor aroma. But then once you chew it, you get all the flavors going on and you're like, ooh, this is actually nice. Uh, yeah. Let me finish it off. Yeah. Kind of a little bit of sweetness in the powder. Mm. Which is, is good with corn. I like that. Okay, last we're going to finish off with the chip chops. Choco chips. Chip chops? What am I saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying a lot of the time, but I still love you. I have a problem. Uh, mini choco chips. The classic western snack in a portable packaging. These bite-sized cookies are perfect to take with you on the go. Enjoy the crumbly texture with the mini chocolate chips loaded into each cookie. I'm excited! I'm also very sticky! Aha! I'm gonna get some water. Ooh! This is a nice looking cookie! It's this thick. Here you go. Oh, it's cute. I enjoy a mini cookie. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got smell very good. Let's look on the inside. I mm. taste a lot of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Not much on the chocolate chip department. Yeah. Um. Like, it's light on the chocolate chips, but as opposed to, like, Whenever I see mini chocolate chip cookies, like, my mind always immediately goes to, like, uh, did you ever have the little bags of, like, famous Amos chocolate chip cookies? Maybe? I don't remember. Because they were hard like this also, actually a little bit harder. Oh. They were also very light in the chocolate chip department. But what these have over them is that, uh, like, the famous Amos ones, like, the cookie part itself was kind of disappointing and not very mm -hmm. flavorful, but this, like, even though there's not a ton of chocolate chips... It's very the cookie stable. itself has enough flavor going on. Like, High like you quality. Said, very, um, brown sugary kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I'm gonna have a drink. And that's all of them. Because the other tube in there is just the other one, the corn one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's see if we can get to the. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, there's this one, though. I can't do that thing where I get too close because then I can't really see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ramen is a very popular drink that's been around in for a long time in Japan. Originally, they came in glass bottles with a marble placed between the narrow neck of the bottle. The marble is pushed inside using a small device that comes with the bottle. In the past, ramen was most known for the refreshing lemon-lime soda flavor, but now you can find them in all sorts of flavors. Some of them include wasabi, chocolate, ginseng, curry, green tea, watermelon, chocolate, and kimchi. Again, I've had they the kimchi. They said chocolate one. twice. Ha! This time, we decided to be adventurous and bring you cream stew flavor. And you got my pants. This ramen promises to bring you the taste of a popular winter dish alongside of the carbonation. Are you brave enough to give it a shot? What do you think of this cream stew ramen? Not fun. Not fun for the whole family. No, you can show off. A, oh, we can get a close up on our uh, yeah. carrot baby. Yeah, shows all the shows all the. This one's a carrot. bird. The pink one's a bird. Oh. Yeah, show off carrot baby. As mentioned in the previous page, Mokike is back. Because the December's box theme is Christmas, we wanted to bring our subscribers something special. Hailing from a planet called Mokekenoke, these long-armed aliens love to hug and like to peek from behind you. This time, these cute Mokeke aliens are bigger and better with a big ball chain and a button on its sleeve so you can have them dangle off your favorite furnitures or have them hug something. 
They might even make the perfect Christmas tree ornament. These alien plushies come in 24 different designs. Which Mokeke do we get? Where will you keep your Mokeke? Like, I'm still wondering whether this is actually a carrot or whether, like, with the little freckles, it's supposed to be one of those, like, uh, one of those little oranges that are... Well, all, some of them also have, like, two dots, so I think it might be freckles, because then it's also nose plus freckles. Okay. Yeah. Because you got a little top. Or maybe it is orange! And that's what I'm thinking, because the orange is very small and pointy, like orange ones are. Mm-hmm. Again, it's just an idea. I'm not sure. Could be orange baby, could be carrot baby. Who knows? It loves you. One. It does love you. Yes! Very good. Okay, the things I did not go over yet, I will go over now. Zoom. Once upon a time, there was an old couple. On a snowy winter day, while going to town to sell firewood, the husband found an injured crane caught in a trap. Feeling sorry, he released the crane from the trap. Whoop. Two. Two? Wrong way. Come on. Work with me. There we go. That night, as the snow fell hard, a beautiful young girl came to the couple's house asking to be invited in because she didn't have a place to call home. Being good Samaritans, they kindly welcomed her into their home. To repay back their kindness, the beautiful girl tirelessly helped around the house. One day, she requested that the couple purchase some yarn so she could weave a cloth which they can resell to buy more yarn. She made the couple promise that they would never look in the room while she was working. At first, the couple let her work, but curiosity got the best of the wife, and she took a peek inside the room. To her surprise, where there should have been a girl, there was a crane instead. So the crane was plucking under its own beautiful furs to weave between the threads to produce magnificent cloth. The beautiful girl revealed that she was the crane and that the husband had saved. While she had intended to remain with them, now that her true identity was discovered, she could no longer remain. She turned back into a crane and flew into the sky, leaving behind the elderly couple to regret breaking their promise. Aw. That was... That's a thing. Yeah. That happened. That did happen. Whoop. Also, lights! Lights, lights, lights. Lights from the Christmas. I can't fucking see. So I'll let you guys read. Whoop. Looks nice. It is very pretty. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. Coming soon. New and improved Yume Twins. Whatever that is. Yeah, whatever you met twins are. Sounds neat. Yes. I'll have to look into that. Maybe. Dang. It's old. <laughs> That's 2016. The last remaining thing from 2016. <sighs> so, I really liked this. Oh, yeah. Like, this This was a really nice box. Especially the premium level. Like, because, yeah, it's the premium level that gets you, like, the little, uh, little toy and soda drink. And more exclusive yeah, items more like exclusive these chips. Items. Like, here, let me show off the thing because it shows off, like, which treats are ranked for which box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the top row is what you would get in a small box. Middle row is, like, you get top top row plus that. And bottom row is premium, so you get all that plus the premium stuff. Yep. It's exciting. Yeah, definitely another thing that uh, would be great to, like, group up with friends for. Mm -hmm. Like, we have more than enough left over, and these are delicious, oh, all of yeah. them. Like, that, there's only a couple gimmick ones. Yeah, like you were saying, this one, like, there's less of a risk of getting, like, gimmicky stuff that you try and never eat again. Like, yeah, there was the cream stew, which was weird, but... That's just a beverage. Yeah, that's just, like, something fun and wacky, you know, that's always nice. But no, the rest was just really nice snacks. I am happy with this set. Oh yeah. I hope, again, like, if you guys have the time or money, look into this stuff, absolutely. I recommend it 10 out of 10. And then maybe we can be able to produce more of this for you, especially until Universal Yum starts being sold out. Yeah. Karate chop. So that's about it. What would you say would be your favorite? Uh, my favorite of the snacks? Mm -hmm. Um... Probably the, uh, I like the chocolate stars. Yeah. The texture was really nice. 
I like the one that tasted like roasted marshmallow. That one was very, very good, too. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it was short and sweet and to the point, but mm, had a lot of good flavor notes. Dun -dun -dun. Yeah. We'll come back later making uh, this doohickey. Yeah. We get to make our own DIY. I said it right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you said DIY. Poochie poochie. Poochie poochie poochie. And they have instructions in here how to make it. So yeah, if you will, this stuff looks interesting, go ahead and have a looky-loo. Like, we should be getting a new box. Hopefully it won't be abnormally late this time. Yeah, because, I mean, last time it was just because we had that giant snowstorm when it was supposed yeah, to be Yeah, so delivered. a lot of people lost their mail. Boop! Yeah, so that's it for us. I'm looking at the cream stew. Yeah... That's... But we have all these other good yeah, things. Yeah, we have we have nice snacks. That have you. Aw. Mm, the sweetest skin. snack of all. Aw, oh, baby. Smack. Smack. Yeah. Isu. And now we have Carrot Baby. Or Orange, orange baby, baby. Whatever it is. We gotta figure out a name. Do we still want it to be Carrot Baby? We could just call it Carrot Baby, even if it is supposed to be an orange. Yeah. Because it's long like a carrot. Yeah. I can never unsee that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks like one of those carrots legs. that, like, you know, splits into two at the end, so it looks Warp, like it has arms. legs. Legs. Well, I need arms when you have legs. Well, well having arms is nice. Arms let you hug things. They That's like true. hugging things. Well, here's a hug. Yeah. Yes. So, hugs you. Well. Oh, I oh. couldn't do it as well. Oh. <laughs> it, there was an attemptive hug. Nice. Yes. But anywho. <laughs> yes, yeah, so have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.